looking forward to getting back on the starting line. Oh yeah, <laughs> for sure. Canceled by COVID last year, the Portland Marathon and Half Marathon will happen this weekend. For Stephanie Ross and many of the 4,000 or so runners that line up on Salmon Street Sunday morning, this will be their first major in-person race since the start of the pandemic. Do you feel good about the precautions that the marathon has laid out? For oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They are uh, requiring vaccination. You got to show your vaccination card when you pick up your bib number at the expo. So when vaccination card or proof of a negative COVID test within 72 hours. Masks are required at the expo and on race morning in the starting corrals and at the finish. We want to invite and encourage people to come out and participate, to spectate, whether that be at the start and finish line or through one of the neighborhoods. We just want to make sure that people do so safely. And you feel pretty good about that? Absolutely. It's very low risk. Susan Hay has been running for four decades. She qualified for the very first U.S. Women's Olympic Marathon Trials in 1984. But I made it by four seconds and there was, a, there was like a clock up there and people were screaming at me, you've got 15 seconds. And I sprinted to the finish line and collapsed. The crowds and the competition are a big deal to runners. I'm, I'm glad that we're back to being able to actually compete with, with people. Chris McGinnis, KGW News.